Let me try to fix this, actually. Let me see. There we go. Uh, we haven't done this in a long-ass time. Uh, first and foremost, yes, there is hair. Sting up the side. I have a huge afro under this hat. No, I will not be showing it. No, you cannot see it. I have no idea what I'm going to do yet. I'm um, thinking braids or something. I don't know. Or I might just chop it all off. I don't know yet. But, yeah. Okay, yeah. There's... <clears throat> I, yeah, it's huge, and it's packed and tucked, and it's the best that I can do, so it is what it is. Um, now, we need to talk. We need to talk. So first, for old time's sake, I'll say, guess mob, uh, what up, and let's talk. Let's go ahead, and let's just make hell freeze over right out the gate. Let's just get it out the way. Um, oh boy. All right, let's, let's, let's start here. There's a lot of topics, but we'll start with this one. First and foremost, if, if you have felt that I've ever wronged you, um, in any way, in any way, shape or form or, or manner, and you feel like you didn't, you know, maybe didn't deserve it, or I went too far, or maybe it was a friend of yours. Maybe you feel like I went too far on them. Maybe you feel like there's just some things that in the past that um, I've done that are the worst, or there's some things that maybe that I've said in the past that are the worst. If, if you feel any of those things about me, you don't have to accept it. Um... You don't have to take it serious, but at least personally, I know that I did what was right. Um, if you've ever felt that way about me with anything, when it comes to YouTube, um, I do want to formally apologize. Um, I apologize, and I am sorry that um, you feel that way. I am sorry for the things that I may have done to make you feel that way. And where this comes from, and, I, and I, it kind of goes right into the first subject too, is uh, the more I, I raise my kids, you know, and God, everybody knows like I'm all about my kids, man. Like that's my life, you know, that's, that's that's my legacy. Like people, people talk about this YouTube shit, you know, and they're like, "Oh, Isaac's the legend." I mean, and you know, I'll joke around, and you know, Isaac's king, and I'll, I'll joke around with it. You know, it's funny. But anybody that knows me, like actually knows me, you know, my kids are my everything. That's my legacy, because when they get older and they become adults they're going to carry that, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to be here forever. So I need to get them prepared and get them ready. So when they become adults, they can carry that legacy on. And I, I found myself teaching my kids certain things that I wasn't following myself. Um, I found myself telling my kids, hey, don't talk to people like that. That's wrong. But then in the back of my head, I'm thinking, but I talk to people like that. And then I've taught my kids, don't treat people like that. And then in the back of my head, I'm thinking, but I've treated people like that. You know, and the more, and even just things that they, you know, they'll come home. Oh, we're well, having a roasting battle and on the bus and blah, 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 or whatever. And at the lunch table. And I'll be like, oh, listen, don't say that. that's too far. Like, you can't say that stuff to people. That's that, that, that's way too far. You don't use that. And then in the back of my head, I'm thinking, wait a minute. I, I do that. You know what I mean? Like, wait a second. And the more and more I'm raising my kids, the more I'm realizing I'm raising them right. And I'm teaching them right. But... I'm not following what I'm trying to teach them. And if they notice that, eventually, they're going to look at me like, well, why should we listen to you when you're doing those things? And that's kind of how I used to look at my mother. 
you know, she would tell me with a cigarette in her hand, like, I better not catch you ever smoking. And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> like, but, yeah, okay, whatever. You know, and the more I thought about it, the more it was like, they're, they're going to eventually notice, like, listen, you're teaching us this stuff, but you're not doing it. And um, it started to bother me. It started to bother me a lot. I want to say, like, the past couple months, you know, because I see my kids growing and I see them in sports and they're excelling, they're excelling in school, they're excelling in sports, they're excelling in their behavior. I get calls from people when they go somewhere, or they go places or whatever, and they're like, man, your kids are so well behaved. And it's like when I step back and I look and it's like, yeah, like they're getting older. They're, they're like sponges. They're, 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 they're taking what I'm teaching them and they're learning and they're doing things with it. And like, once you realize that, man, it's just kind of like, okay, I might need to look at myself on a few things. Cause I can't teach them certain things and tell them certain things when I myself am not following this exact things that I'm trying to tell them. So I started to think about it. And I'm just like, you know what? Like, as fun as it may have been. And anybody that was in Guest Mob 2017, 2018, even you know, 2019 will tell you. Like, it, listen, it was fun. It was fun. But it was fun for the wrong reasons. But it was fun. You know what I mean? I mean, hey, listen. Uh, getting plastered drunk is fun. You know, wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> but it's fun. So, it was fun, you know? I mean, hell, there's, there's enough videos with me and everybody, and Steve, everybody on the panel. There's enough videos where you can hear the laughing and the jokes and playing off of everybody, playing off each other. It was a fun time. But, um, I don't know, man. Just like, just looking back, it's like, There were some things that that's, that just just shouldn't have been happening, um, but it's like this community is like a rabbit hole, man. Like when you first get in here, it's like you kind of dip your toes in. It's like okay, you know, water's water's warm. All right, look around, and then you start getting slammed by trolls, and they're coming at you and your kids and your kids' football program and the basketball program. They're calling, you know, the, the school. They're photoshopping pictures of your grandmother who, you know, just passed away. They're doing a whole bunch of shit. And at first you're like, okay, I, sh I, you know, I shouldn't respond in, 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 in a mean manner. I'll just blow it off. But then, then you respond. And it starts off with your snout. Now you're saying things that are out of character. Because you're like, well, fuck you. You know what I mean? Like, fuck you, don't say that shit to me. I'll say something equally as bad back. And then they start doing stuff. The first couple of times, you know, it's kind of like, okay, I'll let it slide. Then you start doing stuff back. You know, doxing, whatever it may be. And how I always looked at it, and, and maybe this was the wrong way to look at it, but how I always looked at it was almost like, almost like, uh, like nukes. Like, let's say all the communities, at least in the AGP side, all the communities... Our countries and, and and they have all their trolls let's just call the trolls armies they have all their armies well after a while of getting hit with nukes you're like you know maybe we should fucking have nukes too like all these other countries have armies that have nukes nukes meaning doxing and you know all the disgusting shit that comes along with doing all that and it's like all these other countries have nukes we need nukes but then your mindset at the beginning is, well, we need nukes for protection. So that way, if our people are attacked, we can respond accordingly. We need them just for protection. And then you become good at it. Now, you not, you not only have the nukes, you got the best nukes. You got the top of the line nukes. You got the nukes that can wipe out all the countries. Well... Now you have the biggest military, you got the best nukes, you got you know, the biggest country, you're on top. 
And when you get to that point, then it kind of shifted for me. And it became uh, not so much as protection, but so much as fuck around and find out. <laughs> like, like I wish, listen, I wish somebody would. I wish a motherfucker would. You know what I mean? And I've always said, people smack us, but we punch back harder. And that's true. We've never up and just went and attacked somebody. It's always been a response because they came at us or they came at somebody in the community or their family or whatever it is. We've never just been sitting there bored like, you know what, let's fuck with somebody. You know, and like never. But we always got that bad rep because somebody would smack us, bam, across the face. And then we respond, not only with a knockout punch, but even while they're knocked out, we're still fucking hitting them. You know what I mean? Until people got to pull us off. That's what it was. And by the time we're done, everybody looks at us like, wow, look at how bad they fucked up that person. Guess what? I was a bunch of bullies. And it's like, no, we just defended ourselves. I apologize for the bloody face, but <laughs> it's like they came at us first. And then after people see enough bloody faces, they're like, why are they always doing people like that? You know, they always got to make people's faces bloody. And then that reputation starts circulating. Oh, guess what? I was a bunch of bullies. And then it's like, it is what it is. Um... But I didn't like that. I didn't like it. As years went on, I didn't like it. As years went on, I didn't like streaming. It, it became like a chore. And I didn't want to let down my people. Because in my mind, I'm thinking, well, my people want to see the stream. So if I don't stream, I'm letting down my people. But in reality, I was letting down myself. Because I was going deeper and deeper and deeper into this rabbit hole. And it was like, once I got into it, and in, in, in the doxing and the shit talking, then it became like, like there was, I want to say at the very end, there was a couple times at the very end when something happened and I just sat there and thought, oh, why did I say that? Like, I can't call them out for saying shit like that. I just said some shit like that. Like, fuck. You know what I mean? No, of course I would never go live and be like, oh man, you know, because people would eat that up. But behind the scenes, you know, and like even with, like with Whitney, Whitney will tell you, there's a couple times I was like, ooh, fuck, I shouldn't have said that one. You know, like, man, I wish I could take that one back. But then publicly, it's like, yeah, I said it, you know what I mean? And it's and it, it became like almost like a tug of war of this person that is what's presented and the actual person that start to cringe at some of the things I was saying and doing, you know, and, and like I was saying, you know, it's like, like just raising my kids has opened my eyes to a lot of different things because I can't tell them to do certain things if I'm not first setting the example for them. Granted, do I consider myself a good dad? I consider myself an awesome dad. I, I, I got my kids out of a situation that was going to be drastic to them in the long run. Um, I got them away from that situation. I'm taking it all on. Four kids by myself. And I don't complain about it one bit. I will never complain about it one bit. It is an honor for me to raise all four of those amazing fucking kids that I have. They, they, they are life-changing. They are smart. They're funny. Those are my best friends. Fuck all the YouTube shit. Fuck all. Fuck everything. Those are my best friends. I game with them. I watch movies with them. We go out to eat. We go places. We have fun. We play Uno. Like, those those are my best friends. Those are my ride or dies. And I feel like I'm doing them in... Really, I feel like I'm doing them uh, like an injustice. Because it's like... I can't continue to do those things. And then teach them the right things. But then do the bad things knowing I'm doing the bad things. Even though they may not realize it, and, and you know maybe they eventually would, but even though they may not realize it now, like that's that's what I'm doing. That's what it is, and I can't I can't do that. It's it it's 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 not fair to them. Um, I need to be a hundred percent both ways, you know. And and the more I continue to think about it, it was like there's so much shit that I wish I could take back um there's so many things that I, that I, maybe i wish i didn't respond to or that i didn't do or but i can't i mean i can't go backwards 
you know, have, have I apologized for certain things I've done? Yeah, absolutely. Have, have I apologized to Flockavelli, AKA Bree? And yeah, I have, we've talked last I checked. We were cool. You know, um, did I, uh, you know, apologize to Tara? Yes. I think that was a situation where we, honestly on both sides, we just kind of took it out of context, took, you know, really overdid it. Um, she thought something was going on. It wasn't going on. It was, it was, I mean, it was a fucking mess, but it was something that shouldn't have happened on, on both sides. You know what I mean? So, I mean, yeah. And, and there's people that I've, I've apologized to privately, you know, and that's just a private thing or a private moment. You know what I mean? Um, and there's a lot of things that I wish I could take back, you know, hell, I didn't even apologize at one point to, um, lady loyalty on Twitter, you know, um, and this was, God, a year and a half ago, maybe, like right before I was gone from Twitter, um, you know, like right before I closed it up, um, you know, it was on a thread and she was talking about, you know, pool, you know, pool party, whatever. And, and, but, but, you know, but we were cool at the time. And I remember saying to her, like, listen, you know, actually, yeah, no, this is, yeah, like around the time when Tina squashed it with Mike and was back in the videos and blah, blah, blah. And I remember saying to her even then, like, listen, I apologize for that. You know, in my mind, I was going at the mother, but <clears throat> the way I presented it was horrible. I mean, you know, and like, I admitted that, and, you know, in my mind, it was like, I'm going at this mother because she didn't do her job, but the way it was presented, you know, was, was not what, what I wanted. And then when you have people that you trust, that you're close with, you know, in your ear, giving you ideas. And, I'll, and I'm not blaming on them because, you know, like, it's my community. I'm in charge. But when you get ideas, like, maybe you should add this. Maybe you should do this. How about an add-on pool floaties? How about, you know, then you're like, oh, yeah, you know, like, yeah, that's good. Yeah, you know, well, that idea, too. Yeah, that's perfect. You know, yeah, oh, yeah. And then I'll, I'll, and then I'll have this. And, and, and then I'll have the person on the ground flopping it. Well, enough of that. Then you're like, oh, this would be great. And then you do it. And then you look at the screen and you're like, oh my God, like, oh fuck. <laughs> but now you're in it. Now it's too late. You're live. There's hundreds of people watching. And now you're like, shit, uh, fuck it. And you got to roll with it. And you roll with it. And then after the stream, you're like, fuck. <laughs> like after the stream, you're just like, oh my God, like. That was horrible. Like, what the fuck? God. There's a lot. But I, 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 I can't go back. I can't change those things. I, I, I can't redo those things. There, 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 there isn't a time machine. I'm not denying that I've said disgusting things. I mean, yeah, but at the same time, and I'm not using this as an excuse for it, when you're in that mode... And people are coming at you the same way, it's hard not to. It really is. It's hard not to just lash back out with equally, you know, fucked up shit. Um, and that's kind of why I retired. Because I didn't like the person that I became and I didn't like the person who I was becoming. I, I don't want to be another fucking Tina Dandridge. That's on here in their fucking 50s screaming at everybody or, you know, in their 50s saying I'm the best troll. Like, no, I want to enjoy and live my real fucking life with my family, you know, my kids and, you know, experience new things and make memories. And I want to do that with a clear conscience. I don't want to do that with the dirty little secret of YouTube. You know what I mean? Like, like there's people, you know, that you know, know about the videos, people from church or from football, whatever. And it's like, that's fine. But after a while you think to yourself and it's like, there's only so many times you could tell somebody it's entertainment until you start feeling disgusting about the things that you're doing and saying. And it's like, Ooh, I said that, you know what I mean? Or damn, I did that. You know what I mean? And it's like, ouch. You know, and, and, and I think it's a growing up period. Because let's be honest, I don't care how old you are, you're never done growing up. You're always going to learn new lessons. You're, you're, you're never done growing. You know what I mean? 
You could be 40, 50, 60. Hell, my grandmother used to tell me that she was still learning and she was still growing and she was, she was still learning different things and different tools to use in society. Like she was still learning even, even at an old age. You're, you're always going to learn. There's always room for improvement. There's always room to evolve. And I think that's just what, what it came down to. Like, you know, people noticed I, I wasn't streaming as much. 2020, I probably streamed 12 times. 2021, I think it was like down to eight. 2022, it was down to like two or three. You know what I mean? And I announced my retirement actually on my birthday officially, even though I was kind of already retired. I announced it officially on my birthday, uh, October 28th of last year. But it's, it's just one of those things where it's like, that's why I retired. It just, it was, it just became like disgusting and I hated it. I, I hate it feeling dirty and disgusting after doing a stream or being on a panel or just typing things. And then, you know, going back and reading it back and be like, ah, man, like, why'd you even say that shit? Or even looking at it like that, that person didn't even, even deserve my response, man. Like why, why even respond? You know what I mean? Because it's like <clears throat> the person that I became on here, that's not who my kids see. That's not who my church sees. That's not who maybe, you know, the football team and, you know, the coaches see or the teachers see. And it's like, should, like, like, it just shouldn't be like that. Now, if people were to watch my YouTube, would they be surprised? Like, no, because people know, I mean, I have a raunchy, uh, you know, sense of humor. Uh, I cuss a lot, working on it, but I cuss a lot. Um, I said, God damn, I said the F word a lot. You know what I mean? And some people would probably hear it and be like, yeah, that's Isaac. But I I wouldn't be happy with them hearing it, even though they probably don't care. They, the, you know, and they don't, you know what I mean? Like people used to send videos to Pastor Roy. He was like, I don't care. You know, he's at the right place. You're supposed to come to church if you're not perfect. He's not perfect, so he's at the right place. You know what I mean? Because people are trying to get me kicked out of church. And he's to tell the trolls that were calling in, like, why are you sending me this? Okay, that he's in the right place. And, like, how he worded it one time, he goes to the one troll that called in, and they recorded the call, and they uploaded it, whatever. And he said to the troll, he goes, okay, so let's just put it in perspective. You're saying that pretty much he's a sick person and that we need to kick him out the hospital because he's sick. <laughs> And he goes, that's not how I look at it. I think if, if you're saying he's sick, then he's at the right place, right? He's at the hospital. Church is the hospital. It fixes people, helps people. So, you, you know, like it backfired. But, like, literally, he, he he's seen it. He knows. But, you know, I, I also keep the people in my circle uh, as decent people, not judgmental. And, and that was one of the things he always respected about me. He always said, like, you know, I, I, I know what I'm getting with you. You talk the same way here as you do on YouTube, and I would. You know, I didn't sugarcoat. I mean, even when we'd talk, you know, you know, it would slip out. You know, we're talking to church, like, yeah, man, you know, and this motherfucker, and I'd have to stop and be like, ooh, shit, sorry, Pastor Roy. <laughs> and he'd be like, listen, go ahead. You know, he was like, listen, be yourself. He's like, don't, don't be somebody different just because you're at church. He goes, be yourself. I, 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 I want you to be yourself, so I can start seeing the changes that you are making. He goes, you know, just be yourself. You know, but it's like, when, when you take everything as a whole, it, it was just one of those things where I was like, this is not who I want to be. This is not who I want to be at all. It's not. It's not. And I think I owe that to my kids to actually take that seriously. Um, <clears throat> you know, as, as, as much as my kids may love that side, when they do see it, like, they were on, on YouTube one time, and, like, one of my videos popped up on, on, uh, which, like, the recommended. It was on the TV. And they started playing it. And I think it was, like, me and Tina going at it. It was, like, a short 30-second clip. And after the clip goes, is over, Malika looks at me and goes, man, he goes, Roast King. And I kind of looked at him, and I, and, and I laughed. But then in the back of my head, I was like, I don't want him proud about that. You know what I mean? Like... I don't want him proud about that. You know, even though he's happy about it, I don't want him to be happy about that. Um, maybe I was, because there was, a, I mean, there was a lot of good one-liners, you know. I mean, 
you know, there. <laughs> I mean, it was a pretty good roast. I mean, you know, in that 30 seconds, man, you know, I was, I, I was off to the races. I mean, <laughs> but no, like I'm, I'm just at a different place in life now. You know what I mean? And maybe, maybe it was, it, maybe it was easier for me to do all that because off of YouTube, I was in my, in, in the situation that I was in. So it was easy for me to get in that mode and get amped up and get upset and fuck you, bitch, cut, motherfucker. But it was easy because it wasn't like I had to flip a switch. I was already pissed off at living with the one, <laughs> with the one individual. So it was like, oh, you know what? I can take everything that I really think about you and feel about you and the shit that you do and you say. I can take that and I can ball it up and boom, I can use that as ammunition, as, you know, like an attack. Like I, I, I can, I can now, I can take all that frustration and everything with that person that I lived with. And now I can use that. For the YouTube side of things, I can use that, you know, anger or whatever it is to get in that mode. And that's why, that's probably why it was easy for me to do this shit back then. Because people didn't realize, you know, people thought that, like, we were, like, the, I don't know, like, modern day happy couple, some shit. And in reality, it's like, now I'm dealing with a full-blown alcoholic abusive drunk. And, um, it sucked. You know, it sucked. And it is what it is. But now I'm at a different, you know, space in my life where it's like, God, man, like, I'm, I'm happy. Um, my kids are happy. They're excelling at everything that they're in. Sports, grades, everything's good. Um, behavior, like, everything. And it's like, we as a family are happy. And now it's kind of like, well, the one thing that's missing is... I need to make some things right, for one. Whether whether people accept it or not. Because I know there's going to be some people that are like, I don't care, I don't care, it's always going to be, fuck, I, I, don't, I don't care about that. I don't care about that. They they have to live with that. You know, listen, if they want to be 50, 60, 70 years old, you know, still talking about, fuck, I, <laughs> and so be it. But, um, I don't know, I'm just happy. And and, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy in life where I can't get that out of me anymore. You know what I mean? Like, and even if I attempt it, I'm like, I don't want to say that or I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? Like, I, I can't, I can't get, listen, old school 2017 Isaac, if you, if, if you experienced it, cool. If you enjoyed it, all right, fun, cool, whatever. But he's probably never coming back. This Isaac's too calm. This Isaac has seen it all and the community has heard it all and it doesn't, shit doesn't phase him anymore. I, I, I can't get mad. You know what I mean? I can't get mad at stuff online when my personal life is, is going great. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I can't. I can't get myself amped up and into that mood. And to be honest, I don't want to. Because life is so much more peaceful and better without it. You know, I've always said, if I ever did come out of retirement and come back to YouTube, it was going to be different. The community would be different. Um, I would want to be different. You know, I want the people in my community to expect different. You know what I mean? And, and listen, you trust me, you would know if I was coming out of retirement. You would know. I, there would be... There would be like video hints getting uploaded or I don't know. Like I'd probably start I'd probably start doing a video like wearing my hat backwards like I used to. Or you know what I mean? Just this small shit. Um I'd probably start dropping quotes, you know, or memes or, you know, Tom Brady come out of retirement and you know, like stupid you know, stupid shit like that. Like if I was gonna listen, if I was gonna come out of retirement, you would know. Absolutely, you know. You would know 100%. Like, I retired, you know, what, last year on my birthday, October 28th. 
You know, so I mean, it's like, what, what is it? October 15th? If I was going to retire, I would probably do it on my birthday. You know what I mean? Like, that's when I retired. So if I was going to unretire, it'd probably be on October 28th. Like, if I was going to do that. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. Like, you would just know. Like, maybe I would start start looking how, like, I used to it. I, I don't know. It's it's a whole thing. Whatever. But you would know if I was going to unretire. But if I did, I would want things to be different, though. Like, I would want the community to be different. First, I, I wouldn't want to... I wouldn't want to dox as, like, a first form of attack. I mean, let's be honest here, man. You know? Uh, we could talk shit with the best of them. We, you know, we really don't need that weapon. You know, I would maybe make a rule that we only dox if somebody doxes us first, but even then, we don't go after their families. I think that would be a good rule. Now, if somebody doxes us, and we directly dox them back, I'll, I'll, be, real, I'll be real with you. I don't see shit wrong with that. I don't. I don't. I don't see nothing wrong with that. Now, to start doxing the families and the workplaces, okay, yeah, yeah, that's, because th those are people that are not involved. And, you know, yeah, I, I do realize that's, it's wrong. It's too far. But, I'll, you know, listen, I would make some new roles. I, you know, I would, uh, you know, I'd want to have more fun. You know what I mean? I don't want to do, you know, more fun streams. I would, I would want to, I don't want to be fair. You know, don't treat other people differently than other people because I'm with this side or with this side. Like, listen, I'm with my community, period. And all the, all the bullshit of who's on whose team inside, like, fuck it, man. You know what I mean? Just call it, call it right down the middle and how you fucking see it. And if the person's on some fuck shit, they're on some fuck shit. And if they're not, they're not. And if they are and you call it out and they don't like it, so be it. And if they're a friend of yours or an ally of yours and you call it out and they don't like it, then so be it. And if they're an enemy of yours, then so be it. And if you call out that person, takes a person that doesn't like you and it makes them like you, so be it. I, I don't know. It's just, it's not that hard. I mean, really, you know, <laughs> it's just down the middle. Everybody's equal. Um, you know, so it's like, I, I, I would, I would personally want to make a whole bunch of changes, a whole bunch of changes. You know what I mean? Um, if, if I was ever going to unretire, which, you know, you would know if I was. Um, so yeah well interesting talk um again i haven't always been the best example and i know guess my probably like bullshit i get it i know you i know you guys love me i get it i know i know and we had fun. I know, I know we did. We had a blast, but. A lot of the things that we did along the way, a lot of things we said were wrong or too far. And we got to realize that. We got to understand that. Whether we think in our mind if the person deserved it or not. We got to realize that. Um, if I were to ever come back, I want to be a leader of this community that I can be proud of. Not you guys, because I know, you know, you guys, you know, we're probably be proud regardless. But I would want to be a leader that I can be proud of, that my kids could be proud of I would want to be a leader where you know my kids can pull up my videos and not <clears throat> not get certain things out of them like oh that's how you dox or oh that's how you do you know what I mean shit talking I mean yeah whatever you know listen everybody talks shit people talk shit it's a normal human thing talking shit but the other stuff the extracurricular stuff I, I you know no um if, if I were to come out of retirement, I got to do it right this time. I would have to do it right. I owe that to myself. I owe that 
to my kids, and I owe it to you guys. You guys deserve that much. You deserve a guest mob or a version of guest mob that was run differently than what it was. You know, if, if, I, if I were to come out of retirement, there wouldn't be no more leads or nothing like that. It would go back to solely being me in charge, running the community. And uh, there'd be a lot of changes. Because I can't personally make changes in my personal life, but then put on the Halloween mask and, you know, act like the version of me that people want to see. Because people want that. They want the fuck you bitch blah, doxing and we'll take anybody on. That's the version of Isaac that, you know, that they want. You know, and that's kind of what I felt like. I felt like every time I was getting on YouTube, it was like, all right, let me put my Halloween mask on. You know what I mean? Let me put my purge mask on. And it's like, that's not who I, I was. Um, like, Kristen jo jokes about it all the time. Me and Kristen will be talking. She'll be like, you know, I should tell people how much of a teddy bear you really are. I'm like, don't say that shit. I got a rep. <laughs> don't fucking tell nobody this shit. The fuck? I have a rep. No, don't tell nobody nothing. Um, but I mean, no, it's it's true. I'm, I, you know, I, I, like honestly, I think when people actually get to know me versus I, it's somebody worded the best on uh, on a post, getting to know me rather than the myth of me, and because you got listen, you got to think. Every story has a truth and a lie. But then every story also got stuff added in, and it gets twisted, and it's almost like that game of when you take take a circle of people, give the give the one person one thing to whisper, and tell them all to whisper it all the way around. By the time it gets back to that person, it's a completely different fucking story to what you originally told at the beginning, and that's literally how this YouTube drama shit is. You can take one story. <coughs> Isaac said, uh, "Fuck you," and. You need, a better, you need to be a better mom to your kids. By the time it gets halfway around that table, it's Isaac said, fuck you and your kids. Keeps going, and it's Isaac said, fuck you and your kids. And wow, he said that? Yeah, I heard it. That's fucked up. What the fuck? Oh, my God. By the time it gets back to the main person, it's like, okay, what was said? They're going to be like, Isaac said, fuck you, fuck them kids. Fuck your grandparents, your dog, your cat, your neighbors, your aunt, your aunt with the one leg, your aunt with two legs, your uncle with, with um, you know, a bad back. You, fuck your job. Fuck your car. <laughs> and people are like, Isaac's a piece of shit. <laughs> what? God damn. He said all that. And all she said was, I want to. That's fucked up, man. And then they go to their friend. Yo, guess what I heard Isaac said. Isaac. Isaac said this over here in the stream over there. And then that person says, man, you know. So then, when somebody brings up guest mob, and then somebody else's community or checks, oh, I heard about guest mob. Yeah, we heard about guest mob. Yep. Yep, that's that Isaac that that, that told that one person uh, to, uh, you know, go fuck an Elliot. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the elephant. He said, go fuck an elephant and anal rape it. That's what he said. You know, people would be like, wait, what? He said that? But yeah, that's what I heard. He said, go fuck a, you know. I, you know, anal rape an elephant. He told somebody that shit. He, he, he told him that, you know, uh, you know, go to the zoo and do it. But what? That's disgusting. You know what I mean? Meanwhile, I'm just sitting over here high as fuck playing video games. Like, what I say? I said what? I I didn't say that. And then people are like, well, you gonna go live and address him? Like, no. <laughs> I don't care. Maybe three years ago, I'd be like, what the fuck you say? I said. And now I'm just like, okay, well. Whatever. They say what they said. All right. Whatever. They're entitled to their bullshit opinion. I didn't say that shit, though. You know what I mean? That's, like, that's, that's really what all this shit is. It's, it's, it's crazy. And once you kind of put things in perspective, it's like, God, it, the, it's such a mess. It's a everything. It's such a fucking mess, man. But it's the truth. Like, people have a, a preconceived thought about Guest Mob because of things that they've heard about Guest Mob from other people. Um, you know, people take, you know, a little bit of truth and they pile on a whole bunch of bullshit. But then when confronted about it or other people ask questions, they always are like, well, remember that one thing I said was true. So, you know, you know, public opinion. 
<laughs> Public opinion. Fuck the facts. Fuck the truth. Fuck the proof. It's a popularity contest. That should decide everything. Now, if you're not that popular in the community, it's not much of a contest, is it? Um, and there's a lot of people finding that out. Oh, Kimmy K's finding that out. I'm just saying, you know, whatever. It is what it is. If I were to retire, I would address that. You know, I don't know. I'll talk about it in detail. I get my point of view. Also, you know what people need? People need, and I ain't saying me at all. I, and I mean, listen, could I do it? Yeah. Hell, I did it on Frank's when uh, Red Pill and Mr. T were on there. Openly was like, yo, calm down. Even on our side, people on our side were talking. I was like, yo, everybody, chill out, calm down. Ain't gonna be no yelling. Ain't no talking over people. You just shake the fuck off the panel. You know, it's it's not that hard to do. But at the same time, um, somebody should should step up and do that. Create an alternative. Like, listen, I'm a firm believer in if, if something's wrong about something, bitch about it. Absolutely, bitch about it. But also come up with a solution. Or then you just bitching. Come up with a solution. Come up with a new channel. You know? Give give the people that don't want to go there, give them somewhere to go where they can get treated fairly. And they can get their word out. And they can, you know, speak their piece without getting jumped on. Or without getting, you know, their question. But the other people aren't getting questioned. But you're getting questioned. And then it's like a big dog pile. Give them a spot where they can go and see how it works out. Seriously, give the people an alternative, you know, because um, you never know. The alternative could most likely probably end up being a lot more popular than the original once people are like, it's way more civilized over here. And we can actually get shit accomplished over here. It's not a Jerry Springer screaming match over here with one guy just sitting back collecting donations and shit for all of our issues. We can actually go over here. You know, with a channel that's not even trying to make money, we can do it over here. You know what I mean? So maybe maybe pick somebody to do that. Again, not saying me at all, but pick somebody to do that. And then see what happens. I ain't even saying guess my period. I ain't even saying take back. Like anybody. I don't care. Anybody. It could be the circus. Maybe they make a new show. It could be, you know, savage. I don't fucking know. Anybody. Pick anybody. Now, um, the question Am I coming out of retirement? No. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not coming out of retirement. I'm not. No. No. I'm not. Because honestly, listen, here's why. Here, here's, here's why I'm not coming out of retirement. Uh, well, because to be honest, if I was, I would never tell you. I'd, I would, I would want to, like, I honestly, I would want it to be a surprise. I would, I would want it to be a surprise. I, I would want it to be something fun, something that kind of just happens. And I would leave clues and certain things like that. You know what I mean? Like there's, there's just certain things that I would do. Like for instance, people are like, Isaac, Mr. T went at you and Tina and they're talking about your children and Listen, first off, Tina's talked about my kids for fucking years. But the recent shit has been pretty fucking disgusting, I will say. There was even a picture of my child up on Mark's screen. An adult saved a picture from years ago of something funny that happened on a live stream. Kept it on their fucking device. Held on to that shit. Periodically probably looked at it when they scrolled through their fucking photos and then they sent that to Mark, and then Mark turned around, he put a picture of my kid on his screen. Lena, Lena Billings has talked about my kids. Like, oh, his kids are skinny and they're malnourished. What? My kids are fucking athletes. Are you kidding me? My son is one game away from the championship. My other son has already started preparing for basketball season. My doctor, her <laughs> doctor, my daughter, I hope she's a doctor. My daughter is already planning for her next phase. And she's deciding between if she wants to do mixed martial arts, if she wants to do dance, or if she wants to do like professional cheerleading. Like my kids are athletes, man. She just finished cheer and they just finished football. My other son's one game away from the championship. My other son's preparing for basketball season. Like the fuck? 
you know, and, and listen, like I've said in this video, like, listen, you come at me, I'm going to come at you. That's just how it is. That's just how it is. But at the same time, what do you do when somebody comes after your innocent children in the manner that they have? What do you do when somebody takes the picture Puts it on the fucking screen. On multiple streams, by the way. And then talks about it. Gloats about it. Tries to dissect a picture of my fucking son. Of my child. With a group of fucking people. That obviously don't see anything disgusting with that. Or anything weird about a grown man saving a picture of a shirtless fucking child. That's four or five years old. Nobody's seen anything wrong with that. You know why nobody's seen anything wrong with that? Because it was Isaac's child. If it was anybody else's child, it's a problem. But because it's Isaac's child, it's a huge problem. So, what would I do about that? Like, honestly, people have been asking. People have been asking, like, Isaac, you going to do something? You're going to do something to Isaac, Tina, and Mark. And then you got all these people... The TNN and Mark are ruining the community, and TNN and Mark are doing it. You know what? They, they are. They are ruining the community. They are putting out some disgusting fucking content day in and day out. They are putting an 18-year-old or 19-year-old in a line of fire, constantly giving him a platform to say bullshit that, let's be honest, his mind doesn't realize that he... he He's not ready for this shit. He's, he's not. He's not ready. He can't handle this shit. And he doesn't realize how deep it goes. But his mother sure fucking does. Because his mother's on this fucking platform. She's been on this platform. She knows what happens. She knows how deep it goes. So why the fuck would you put your son right in the fucking line of fire? Even give him a fucking channel to go live on while you're on his fucking panel doing drama streams and then bitch and complain that YouTube is affecting him emotionally. Well, no shit, because you've had him on this fucking platform since he was 14 years old. Hell, I came on YouTube in 2017. Your son was on YouTube before I was even fucking here running. This has been something that didn't start with fucking Isaac. It started with you, Tina, as a parent. But, I mean, god damn. How old is he now? He's been on this shit since 14 years old. And you say, well, people have been going at him since he was 14. No, adults have responded to him threatening to kill people, beat up people, punch people, call people the N-word. While you sat there as a mother with your 14-year-old child saying these things and literally did nothing. Because if it was me and my kid was in the background saying that shit or Rick Wasabi saying that shit, I promise you they would have been dealt with and handled 100%. There wouldn't be no, I'm still on stream. That stream is over and I'm handling my fucking kid. Period, point blank. But you know what's funny to me? My kids, my oldest is 11 years old. My youngest is four. They don't know who these motherfuckers on YouTube are. They don't know. They don't know names. They don't know channels. They don't know none of, they don't know nothing about this shit. They know Mike, Bridget, you know, obviously the family. They know, uh... They know Steve from when he was in Guest Mob. Um, they know Larry a little bit. Um, they know, I mean, obviously Guest Mob. They know Whitney and, you know, Guest Mob people. But drama shit, they know nothing about it. They don't hear the things that people say about them because I don't go on YouTube, hear the things people say about my kids, and then go tell my kids. Guess what Cupcake29 Anal said? No, I don't tell my kids that shit. Uh, listen, Tina, it's not our fault. That literally, while your son was a child, you would take everything you heard on YouTube and it was out of your mouth to your son. If a random troll came in and said something disgusting about your 14-year-old child, you were repeating it to your 14-year-old child. Or you were repeating it in front of your 14-year-old child. So when you say, all those years, Albert was scared, Albert was this, Albert couldn't go to school, Albert... That's you. That's your fault. That's your problem. That's your mistake. Because you had him in that position. Because if you never opened your fucking mouth to him about YouTube shit, he wouldn't know what the fuck was going on on YouTube. But you brought him into that shit at 14 years old. You involved him. 
Hell, at that point, you might as well talk about the fucking bills and the mortgage and all the other important grown-up shit and grown-up business, too. Because let's be honest, if you're going to talk about them about a little bit of grown-up shit, talk about it all. Fuck it. But you know what's crazy? The difference is your son was already on this platform because of you. Your son was in drama at 14 years old because of you. Your son was on this platform talking shit to adults because of you. And now because he's finally grown up, now he feels in his mind, I can now talk shit with no repercussions. Well, guess what? You're still a fucking adult now. There's going to be repercussions because there's going to be responses to your bullshit. You can't talk to women the way you fucking do with no, no fucking repercussions. You can't call people names and threaten people with no repercussions. You can't say the shit that you fucking say and not expect a fucking response. But you know what? My kids aren't on this platform. My kids weren't involved in drama. My kids weren't talking shit on TNN, Mark, and none, uh, you know, none, none of that shit. Hell, when's the last time you ever heard one of my kids in the background? I purposely make sure my kids are not around when I do drama to the point where trolls used to run with the, the fucking rumor of Isaac lost his kids. We don't hear them in the background. CPS took the kids. We don't hear them in the background. No, that's just Isaac being a fucking parent and being a father, shielding my children from this bullshit and keeping them out of it because they don't need to be fucking involved. They need to worry about their games, their Roblox, their sports, their friends, school, and playing, and not worry about this shit. They will never have to worry about this shit. But now, you took my children. Tina, you took my children in your mouth. You spoke about them. You, you spoke on my kids on your channel, on Mark's channel, talked about my kids. You even did it on Jake's channel. I saw, that's how it all started. That's how it all started months ago. Because you got mad because you got fucking roaches. And that shit came out on a guest mob channel with the troll and you going at it. And uh, take back, played the clip like you said. Turned out that there was really a fucking roach. And you got butthurt about it and started running your fucking mouth on me. See, that's how this all started. That's how it all started. And she brought up my fucking kids. Call my kids dirty, all type of shit. Like, listen, anybody ever seen my kids, you know. <laughs> my kids are well fucking taken care of when it comes to feeding them, clothing, and whatever it may be. But my kids aren't on this platform. And you started talking about them. And you started going at them. And then you and Mark started talking about them. Then you and Mark started going at them. Then you guys are now talking shit on my fucking children. So... There has to be a repercussion for that. There has to be. Because Mark, Tina, I can't let you get away with that. And I won't. I can't let you get away with that. And I won't. I can't let you get away with that. And I won't. I won't. It'll be handled. But it's going to be handled a different way because I'm no longer handling things the way I used to. But it will be handled. It'll be handled. So I'll just go ahead and I'll end this and say this. When it comes down to the past, if you're somebody that you feel like I've done you wrong in any way, I apologize. I do. I apologize. Um, if you feel like I went too far on something or said something I shouldn't have said, whatever it may be, I apologize for that. I can't go back and change it, but what I can do is create something new. I can create something new. If I was going to retire, if or unretire, I should say, if I was going to unretire, I don't think I will. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, who knows? You know, crazy shit happens around Halloween. I don't know. But, either way, with that being said, this ended up being a long-ass fucking time. Um, 
I do that every fucking time. Every fucking time. I say it's not going to be a long time. And it is a long time. Every fucking time. But there is a lot to talk about. I mean, there is a lot of shit I need to address. But it is what it is. God. It is what it is. But I don't know. Halloween's coming. People are going to be dressed up in purge masks and all type of shit. Oh, you, you, you no. Know, you might hear a purge siren. Who knows? Because, you know, the costume, the mask, you know, Halloween. Not necessarily on YouTube or anything. But, regardless... Yes, Mob, I love you guys. I appreciate you so much. So much. And, uh, well, when it comes to retirement, unretirement, I am not coming out of retirement. I'm not. But if I was, I wouldn't tell you. It'd be a surprise. <laughs> I love you guys. I appreciate you. And until next time, peace. <laughs>